hello guys so i am bringing this video to show how to install kubernetes on ubuntu 22.04 since there are many conflicts that are arising uh, in gpg keys and then docker uh, need another container runtime to support kubernetes so i am going to show the step by step installation from various resources uh, because kubernetes cluster installation is not uh, not there in one single path uh, uh, to install so uh, I'm just trying to help you out so that you can configure your own kubernetes cluster for practice so there are many other resources where we can find the step-by-step -step installation of kubernetes but I see that a uh, few of those steps are depreciated uh, a few keys are depreciated or something like that so <clears throat> I'm making this video so that uh, I'm bringing various resources from various uh, sources so that I can combine them and then install Kubernetes so that it can bring uh, bring up correct form of uh, Kubernetes cluster permission on your own network for practice. So Kubernetes must require Docker, so everyone knows that. After that, uh, uh, it is being, uh, you know, uh, uh, it is said that CRI Docker must also be installed for the smooth run of uh, Kubernetes. And uh, I'll be giving the links to these websites so that you can go and copy the commands. Most probably, uh, if you have come till here, I know you must be aware of uh, installing uh, uh, Kubernetes or any other service on Ubuntu. So I don't think I need I need to explain all this stuff and then yeah if at all if you are trying to install by doing these in a shell script I would recommend you to go in a manual step by step process so that uh, uh, nothing gets stuck in between. So I am uh, I have already installed docker and right now I am installing CR docker uh, which I already have uh, cloned into uh, my Ubuntu server so I see that there is already CRI docker so that's fine and then I'm just copy pasting these uh, commands so that uh, I can actually CRI docker into my cluster so, uh, here in this command uh, you see that source uh, home and dot bash profile but it is required this particular command to be run so i have copy pasted from here itself i didn't copy paste from here so you also do the same because it won't uh, uh, let a pound of time it will not help you to run the docker crd docker So it is just copy pasting, there is nothing much to do. Um, so if at all, if you are expert in all these things, you might feel this video a bit funny. However, there are other people who are not much aware of installations and all. Uh, so those people might find this helpful. So I'm making this video. Yeah, pseudo daemon reload. Okay, finally, you're getting into the last step. Yes, nice. Nice. So, we just have to check the status once before uh, you know, starting installation of Kubernetes because. Here, why did I ask you to check the status? Because see, you find the CRI docker inactive and dead. So enable command is not working over here. So what I do is I go and instead of enable, I put it as start. So if I run the command again, now you see that it's running. Mm, yeah, and I'll check the status of other uh, 
other service as well whether it whether or not it is running which is yeah um, hyphen hyphen now cr docker dot socket um, yes yes it is running as well nice so i'm going at, ahead and uh, running the other installation process which require the kubernetes installation sudo app install so i would like to do it in normal user mode i would request you to follow the same steps which i am doing here whether I, whether i am installing in root mode or else installing kubernetes some normal general user mode i don't know the science behind it why is it working like this only but since i find it working like this and going ahead and asking you to install in this manner only if at all if you find uh, any other way you can put it in comments so that it can be helpful for the other people so again our copy pasting thing is going on yes Oh, sorry. So our update is done, and then now we are going to install sudo app install kubelet kubelium and kubecl. Okay, so Kubelet, CubeCDM, and CubeADL, sorry, CubeCDL got installed. And the last step, we have to mark them hold. I'm clearing the screen for the better view. So, until this part of time, uh, the installation is done. So, from this point of time, it should be done only in master node where, wherein we are going to control all the other nodes, which is also called as Kubernetes master. So, probably earlier it used to be like uh, sudo cube adm cube admin in it. So, we are going to initialize, but it is going to throw the error like this. So, we are going to trust google over here Control c and then paste so we will find the uh, stack overflow so you will the very first uh, yeah the very first command so it is asking us to ch choose one container runtime since it has find two so we will be using this particular command i will be putting this in description you can use this so again there will be a problem because i didn't run it as we got the answer so everything is going good i hopefully uh, installation will go well i will just pause the video here and then continue to run it once the installation once the installation is complete so guys, uh, our uh, installation is done. So probably you will reach to this point uh, wherein you will be able to see to start using cluster. You need to run the following as a regular user. 
so these commands we need to copy paste before that i would i would recommend you to or else request you to copy this particular this particular token which can be used to join other nodes into our cluster so i am going to save it later point of time until then uh, so to finish our installation on kubernetes master these three steps are necessary so we are going to do this control c and then paste hopefully few of you must already know these steps are mandatory to finish the installation on master so our uh, installation is probably done so just to check whether our model is working cube serial get notes so you can see that uh, our installation is done uh you can run the same steps of installation and the other in the other nodes where you want to join them to your kubernetes master until the point uh, of installing kubelet kubeam kube ctl and you don't need uh, you don't need to run kube in kubeam init into that uh, uh, so after installing all these things you just have to uh, run this particular command in sudo mode in those uh, uh, in those nodes so that uh, those nodes get connected to your uh, kubernetes master hopefully this video will be helpful to you to install kubernetes on ubuntu 22.04 all the best thank you bye